Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our corner to corner tutorial for putting on an easy border. To make this super easy border for your corner to corner, you're just going to need obviously your corner to corner, rectangle or square is fine and some yarn. You can use any kind of yarn you like. I'm just using this white for, or actually it's parchment, for tutorial sake, but you can use any yarn you like, and you'll also be using the same size hook as you did for your corner to corner. You want all your tension to stay the same. That's all you need other than a ne uh, needle and scissors. To start, we are going to join our yarn. I'm using the same yarn I did for the blanket, if you have not, or the, the corner to corner square. If you have not uh, cut your yarn yet, you can just keep going now with your with the yarn you have. So I'm going to join my yarn in the same spot where your yarn would be if you had not cut it. So I'm just going to put my hook in, grab my yarn and bring it back and slip stitch with both yarns to join. So I'm going to chain two with my tail because we're going to go over it. So chain two, one, and two. I'm trying to do small chains because I don't want to bulk anything up too much. And now into the next space, single crochet, chain two, into the next space. So I'm just jumping my blocks. In between each block I'm doing a single crochet and to get to the next block, chain two, single crochet into the space chain two, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into the space, chain two. So we're just building these little loops all the way along our, the edge of our work that we can work into with the border and we're using the same color yarn so that we don't see these little joins. Where we're, where we're doing our single crochet, we're not going to notice it later on, so our border is going to look really nice and tidy. So single crochet into the space and chain two to get to the next space. And repeat this all the way along to the corner. When you get to your corner, do the same thing, get to your corner with a chain two. Now find, just pick a stitch over there that you're going to make into your corner. And single crochet into that stitch same as always, and we're going to chain two, one, two, turn your work a little bit, and into the very same spot, a one more single crochet. So we've built a corner over there. We've built a little spot, an extra spot. That's going to be our corner for our border. So keep going around. I'll meet you at the next corner. Single crochet into the spaces, chain two, single crochet into the space, chain two, all the way to the corner and I'll meet you there. When you get to the corner we're going to do the same thing, our regular chain two, find a stitch that you're going to make into the corner, it's a bit hard, guess we'll do that guy, mm, I don't want to do that guy, I want to get two loops on my hook, okay there we go, so single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the same stitch, rotate your work and now keep going. So you're going to do this all the way around your entire square or rectangle and I will meet you when we get to join. At the join I'm going to go into that stitch where we, where we joined our yarn into the same stitch and do a slip stitch and a chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn. And we're going to have to sew this one in so I'm leaving enough yarn to sew in later with a needle. Now you'll probably see your work is curling up on the corners and you want that. Each of these blocks is three stitches, three double crochets, and our, we have a single crochet and a chain two and that counts as three stitches and we want our, the border will kind of help hold our work in, so don't worry about it curling, that is normal and you kind of want it to do that at this spot at this stage in your border. So now we're going to be working into these chain two spaces that we made all the way around and you can do absolutely any border you want, but let's do something nice and simple to start. 
So now pick any of these chain, chain two spaces. Get your yarn, put your hook into the space, grab your new yarn, put a loop on your hook, pull it through, slip stitch with both to join, drop your tail, we'll try to work over it, and chain two more. So that is pretty much looks like a chain three, even though it's a chain two. And two double crochets into the same spot, one and two. I'm going over my tail at the back into the next chain two spot, three double crochets. And now you're just going to be doing three double crochets into each chain two spot all the way along your work. So our border looks like this. We're going to keep going all the way. I'll meet you at the corner. So we're going to go into this chain two space before the corner with our three double crochets. And then into that one we made in the corner, we're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. That gives us enough to get around our corner and a nice even un, a nice odd number so we still have our corner for the next round. It'll be the third one in or the center one. And into each space you're going to make your three double crochets. So into the ones on the side you're going to do three double crochets and the one on the corner you're going to do five double crochets and I'll meet you when we're joining. So I finished my three double crochets and I'm ready to join so I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three a small slip stitch, sl a small slip stitch. So there's tension on my hook, and then a chain one. 